Hello, hello, and welcome back to Create Above and Beyond. In this episode, I've got some pretty high ambitions. I want to complete this, this, and this, but not in that order, uh, today. I want to see if I can get all three of these resources done. It might not be possible to get all of them, but the big one is going to be this Bedrock's Bounty. Gathering and Decite automatically requires you to make a cobblestone generator above a block of bedrock if you do that it will generate andesite cobblestone so we're gonna need a few things to make that automatic and i've got a few ideas on how to get down to bedrock cleverly and while i'm getting set up for that let's go into the q a of the day the first that we have from this series coming in from r slash effective asking what state am i from and will i be popping into stardew valley again I am a Nevadan. I am from the state of Nevada. And uh, probably, I probably will be doing Stardew Valley at some point again. It's just there wasn't a lot of interest in it when I did it uh, initially. So I'm going to wait and see if there's a little bit more in the future. And while I'm talking about this, I've completely forgotten what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, we need drills. Okay, we need drills. Uh, the way to get deep down, deep down is drills. Uh, I'm going to use a rope pulley and a deployer for something clever. But the first thing I need is a lot of wood because we're going to want ladders to get up and down, right? So I'm thinking we use some of the ingots that I've smelted. And you can see I've smelted up a good amount of iron and stuff. Actually, in fact, you know what? Let's take 24 of this iron and actually make a real set of armor. So not everything under the sun kills me because so far it has been a struggle <laughs> sad to see the witch's hat go but you know what well can you can i place it on the floor maybe no okay we'll leave it in here for now and commemorate our first little hat but uh whew. yeah having an armor bar that feels a lot better so we're going to be building a saw initially and we actually do need some nuggets as well as some sheets of iron shouldn't be a problem i think yeah we have nuggets in here i only really need one saw uh and then this guy i don't think yeah, I don't think you can actually use... Uh, you know what? Actually, why don't we make a depot? Make our lives a lot easier and just make a depot. Really simple to make, you can see. Uh, and it just allows you to place your items onto the depot. Um, I don't think it gives any like mechanical benefits, but it means I don't have to move the entire system up and down every time I want to put a basin under it. And it also keeps everything in kind of a nice little, nice little block GUI, you know? Okay, so super easy. We can make ourselves a saw blade. And of course, I do need to do the whole process of stripping and cogs and, and you know the process. Ugh, you know what? I'm so tired of my food always being empty. Okay, brief detour, brief, brief detour, okay? All right, because I'm so, so tired of this empty food bar always. And eating bread, man, it just does not, it just does not do it. It doesn't do it for me, okay? So we are going to take a brief, brief foray into Farmer's Delight uh, and build ourselves a happy little pot. Would you, would you stop? Would you stop that, please? I'm talking here. Cooking pot. Ah, a bucket of water. Right, right, because the pot is magical and just kind of has an infinite water supply in it. Yes. Okay, like so. You get yourself a cooking pot. Very nice. You can take then a campfire, and I guess I'll put it by our farm for now. And the cooking pot goes on top of it. Beautiful. And now you can make all these wonderful things. Um, I am going to harvest up our tomatoes because I caught a fish. Well, I killed a fish. And uh, there's a cool dish you can make that gives you a lot of saturation and a lot of hunger points. What is this? Buddy beans. Okay. Sure thing, champ. And then I'll harvest uh, potatoes. Oh, I, I love being a little farmer. I really I really love Farmer's Delight. It's such a nice mod. Okay, well, I don't want to fill up my inventory. But let me go grab the ingredients necessary. And hey, you know what? If you enjoy this funky blend of cooking and creating and all the problem solving that comes with it, make sure that you are subscribed so that you do not miss a single upload because this mod pack is an absolute blast and I wouldn't want anyone to miss it. All right, self-plugging aside, we need a bowl, and we are going to be making tomato soup, is it? Tomato sauce? This is so cool. I, I love 
I love this mod. All right. So then the tomato sauce, carp, onion, and a bowl to put it in. I believe you need a bowl. You can see it takes a little bit longer, but we'll get a really cool, like, custom modded dish. Ta-da! Fish stew, which you can see gives you just a ridiculous amount of stats. And you also get a thing called comfort, which I don't know what comfort does. It also consumes the bowl you use for your tomato paste. But okay, well, there you go. There's an easy recipe, and we'll actually be able to automate fish pretty soon as well. So nothing to worry about there. Anyways, back back to the create. Alrighty, here is our andesite machine, and we are going to turn it into a mechanical saw. And this is actually going to be extremely helpful for chopping down all the trees we'll need, because a mechanical saw only needs to chop the bottom of a tree, so you can shift, right-click it onto a tree, Give yourself a hand crank, 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 and there you go. <laughs> the whole tree is felled in one swoop, and it's super easy to move this little contraption. In fact, if we had a wrench, uh, what does a wrench cost us? Is it? No, a wrench is pretty cheap. Uh, maybe we'll go, yeah, you know what? Let's go make a wrench, and you know what? Let's go make goggles as well. We'll do some We'll do some quality of life stuff in addition to making this little, th this, this, this is a little quality of life intro because it is going to be, supremely helpful supremely helpful for the rest of this uh, episode so goggles are going to allow us to see some really interesting information on all of our machines and i think i could put them in a bobble slot no i can't put them in a bob why have bobble slots if i can't put my goggles all right i guess we have to sacrifice our helmet to wear these that's unfortunate uh, but you can see when i look at stuff uh, it now tells me like how much stress impact it has uh, which is really useful. It'll also tell me like what items are inside of it and all that jazz. So very helpful. Um, you can that that will eventually really come in handy. And a wrench allows us to instantaneously pick stuff up. It allows us to rotate items. Uh, yeah, the wrench is extremely extremely helpful. So you can see once we go and chop this other tree down. Or actually, I'll show it off with the hand crank. Right, instead of having to break it. Boop, I just pick it up by shift right clicking on it. It's amazing. Ooh, that was cool because those trees were diagonal. It uh, it broke both of them at once. Oh, this is so much more convenient. All right, 38 spruce logs I think should be enough. Uh, we need to make a few contraptions. I, or at least I want to make a few contraptions. Uh, I want to make a rope pulley, which I don't believe requires an andesite machine. But I do want to make two drills, which are going to require, obviously, two andesite machines and these drill heads. And I want to make our deployer. And we already have the golden hand, but we need a third andesite machine. So I will be back after quite a lot of crafting. I really should get this hooked up to a water wheel. In fact, you know what? I think I will. Because I believe I believe we can. I believe I believe that we have enough uh, stress to, to do that. I'm, I'm going to go do that because that, that is just... It's just abysmally boring. There we go. Okay. And that should be spinning fast enough because it gear ratios. Perfect. Perfect. In fact, I actually probably want that. Well, it'd be more convenient if it was in front, but it's fine. I could always just jump around to the back. Yeah. I have got no problem with that because I mean, this is, that's just going to be a lot nicer. Okay. And after all that, we get all of our kinetic mechanisms that we need to make three andesite machines. Uh, and then I just need to do some more pressing to make the drills. All right, we've already got our rope pulley. Let's get the two drills made up as well as the deployer. Perfect. And for this little device, I am going to add a chest onto it. And the last piece we need is some super glue, which requires slime. And uh, luckily, this little waypoint that I've got put that big old blue, blue beam... Uh, points to a little slimy tree that I found while exploring, and I believe I can turn the congealed slime blocks into slime balls. So that should make life very easy. What an interesting looking thing. But yes, here are the congealed slime blocks. Oh, perfect. And when you break them, you just get slime balls. Awesome. We will take these. I wonder, does this mean anything? Or is this just like a cute little like random mini biome? I suppose. I like this tree. I, w I wonder if uh, if there's like a slimy sapling. No idea. So I will just head back home and consider it to be a one-time little thing. 
Okay, with the slime, we can make this thing called super glue. Super easy. Just need some more iron sheets. It is a good thing iron is one of the first uh, metals that you can actually automate, I think, in this pack. Because, oh my gosh, do they want you to use so much of it. Is that not? Oh. Oh. Hey, where'd the sheet go? Oh. All right. Apparently stuff likes to disappear a little bit in your inventory, but there we go. We have some super glue, which will be very helpful. So the plan is pretty simple. We're going to have, uh, let's see, where do I want to put this? I could put it like here. I suppose. Yeah, I'll put it here. We will have these two drills facing a downwards with a deployer facing a this way. Oh, wait. I, th I think that's okay. I think that's okay. We'll test it because we're going to give the deployer ladders that I'm hoping it will be placing on this block as these drills go down. I might I might need one more drill to make this work. I don't know yet. Um, but as the deployer goes down, it will place ladders for us to go on. And then we will use this rope pulley to connect the whole thing together. And that should give everything rotational force as it goes down. Theoretically speaking, this works. Uh, and then... We're going to have a chest here to keep a storage of ladders as well as pick up anything that these drills pick up. Most likely. That is also why I made this saw because we are going to need a lot of wood to make the ladders. And uh, I didn't really want to pick it all up manually. So we're just going to make it easy for ourselves. Okay, so just to test, we're going to give that guy ladders and we'll build up this little platform. Actually, we need to remove the chest. This will work uh, once there's no chest there uh, because it'll all be an entity. Right, right, right. Okay. So this needs to be one back. Okay, so we do need one more drill. That is... Eh, it's, it's, eh, it's unfortunate, but it's not like the worst thing in the world. All right, drill part three will be added to the machine. Yeah, I don't think I mind the machine being here. Oosh, lag spikes, okay. I think this is a good place for the machine, because then, like, then it could flow into kind of an assembly line this way as well. Sure. And, I mean, look, all of this stuff is eventually going to move. You know what I mean? This is not, like, the final rendition of the factory, of course. Uh, so now just to be sure, because you really should always test your things, even if you know they're going to work, it's important to test. Where is my crank? Thank you. Let us make sure that this will place. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very cool. Okay, awesome. And, uh, now we could even add a double chest for good measure. Why not? I think a stack and a half of ladders is probably enough. Uh, what, why level are we at? 70? Yeah, it's definitely enough. Okay, cool. So this has more than enough ladders, and then I'm pretty sure all I have to do is glue. Huh? Does super glue not work the way it does in future versions? That's unfortunate. All right. Got it. All right. Well, well, you know what? We all knew this was an older version of Create. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Okay, I think that has made it all one thing. You can't really check in this version of Create, which is very unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure it's all glued together. So that's good to know. I think if I do this, or this, there we go. Oh, hold on, come back up. Actually, go back down. Uh, one more. Eh, it's pretty fast, actually. I guess I didn't glue that. Will it not work as a double chest? Interesting. Well, there are two chests, I suppose. And then this should place a ladder. Okay. Why is it placing the ladder... on that block? <laughs> That's kind of annoying, but alright. Whatever. You know what? It's imperfect, but who who cares? Um, it would have been really clever to do this over there, so I could hook it up to rotational power, wouldn't it have been? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna not be. I'm gonna not be stupid. Oh, and now it can't come back up. 
Uh, off to a good start. One thing we're very much going to want to be sure of is whether or not the rope pulley is spinning in the correct direction. Because if it isn't, then we're going to need to do something to reverse that speed. And actually, it is spinning in the right direction. Great. That makes life very easy. Okay. Let us rebuild. Okay. That should be the contraption completed. And with the automatic... Eh? Alright, that immediately didn't work. That just... That just didn't connect. Well, I would think that... Uh, this system is a little unintuitive. Because I glued on the bottom, so I would think it would all be one, like, cohesive thing. But I suppose not. Uh, I guess, I guess, you know. We all learn, we all learn. One way or another. I prefer, to, apparently, to learn... The hard way. There we go. Okay. So that should go all the way down. And I have all the ladders on me. There we go. There we go. Ladder problem solved. Alright. Be free, my machine. Dig for me. Yeah. This, this is going to take a little while. But you know what? It is completely automatic. Which is really kind of awesome. So that it will drill all the way to bedrock. While that machine is running, I'm going to make something called a strainer base, okay? Uh, as well as the sediment strainer, because with both of these, we'll actually be able to generate sand. I'd also like to make a fishing net if pot, although we don't have bamboo. That's unfortunate. It would have been it would have been nice to make this, because this will, you know, make you fish, which we can use to cook. And that would be awesome. But I guess we'll just start with a regular one. Canvas, I think you use a knife on grass to get straw. And this is pretty easy, just another andesite machine. Once we make our tree farm, which more likely than not will be in the next episode, oh, I will be such a happy man. It is so bothersome to chop all the wood necessary for these. All right, here's the andesite machine, and then you combine it with iron bars. And uh, let's go get that canvas. Where is my knife? There is my knife. Uh, and I think you just... Yeah, no, yes, no, there we go. Okay, so it takes a little bit. Gotcha. It takes it takes just a little bit, and then you get one canvas. So I'll just run around, chop some grass, and get back to you once I have all the canvas we need. Alrighty, not too long. I just didn't really want you guys to sit around watching me chop grass. We get the canvas, we make the sediment strainer, we get ourselves a strainer base. Um, and I'm going to move the water closer to home. I, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather have this all in one area, right? How's that doing? Still going down? Uh, is it? Yep. Wow. That's still going. Sweet, 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 sweet. Suppose I could just put it here. I have no idea how much water this requires. Uh. Got it. I think I see how this works. I think this needs to be deeper. Okay, is this good enough? Looks like it. Now what? Status, no problems detected. Got it. So it's just gonna do its thing. Okay, there we go. So that's actually sand automated. So we, we could actually check off, boop, sand. Very nice. So uh, this also technically makes you clay, but it's a lot better to wash sand into clay I imagine this will produce our first sand. Nice. Very nice. Okay, cool. And it's got 300 uses. So we can get 300 sand out of this. Not too bad. This... This is gonna take a little while. In fact, it may have stopped. Uh, why is it not coming up? No, are the ladders still blocking it? But it shouldn't have placed it. It should be, it should be free to ascend. Hold on. Let's get a parkour over here. Right? Only place when in starting position. Oh, dear. Stuff still blocks it. That's... That's really... <laughs> That's not good. Oh! It hit bedrock. Got it. Got it. Okay, so it didn't break. It just worked. And I'm a little stupid. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm going to go dig out a little area down here, and then we'll get this set up. Ooh, okay. Hey, look at that. 
the, I think these are the first diamonds we've actually mined. I'm pretty sure all our other diamonds have come from chests. Nice. That is a decent haul. I have been thinking we should probably start getting into enchanting, at least sooner than later, so these diamonds are definitely going to be helpful. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go send this guy up. Hey, get out of my machine. Get out of my machine, dude. What What do you even sell? Oh, you sell a globe. Well, I don't have any emeralds to buy that with. Oh, I have eight emeralds. Yeah, well, I can't make any additional. That's too bad, actually, because I think, I think you can sell a globe here. Yeah, you can sell a globe for two gold. It's actually worth a lot of money. Uh, I wish I had more emeralds. Eh. All right. Well, uh, you, uh, I guess you hang around. Alrighty, to get this generator up, it's just a regular cobblestone generator, and I have been eyeing down this little piece of lava for ages, so I'm just gonna go grab this lava, and, uh, I mean, you guys know how to set up a cobblestone generator. I'll, I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back once I've got this thing set up. Alright, the moment of truth. Does DJojo remember how to make a cobble gen? Da 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 da! Oh, that's so cool! We have now an infinite supply. Oh! Of andesite and granite uh, oh so it's not foolproof got it got it okay so there's not a hundred percent chance of receiving oh that was a gabbro diorite interesting so it's not a perfect system okay okay so if you're thinking, okay, because now we have to automate it, right? Because we're not we're not done with this bit yet, right? Or rather, we're not done with this yet because you need to automate it. Uh, the way we're going to do that is with one of our drills. Uh, it is going to be on this side of the block. Or, ooh, actually, we'll do it like this. Nope. We're going to have a drill up here. Ah, so much digging. Okay, we're going to have a drill up here. And then behind that, we're going to have an encased fan that will blow the items, okay? And then here, I'll probably put a chest with a funnel, and that should make it automatic. Legitimately, that should literally be it automated. So we are going to need, because I believe the encased fan does require a uh, fan. Hello? Huh? case fan yeah we need an andesite machine and this propeller and then of course for the andesite funnels we are going to need another andesite machine so i'll be back with more andesite machines all righty and our newest machine is a fan oh look at that we completed what did we complete uh is that over on the overview Ooh, we get crafting blueprints that's nice i believe you could put these on a wall and like set a crafting like recipe in them so i suppose we could get like andesite machines since we have to do that so often right just like that and now yeah we could just craft that up automatically if we have all the resources in our inventory cool very cool that's a nice little quest reward um but we are more focused on getting everything it needs set up we're gonna need those so this you and double chest all right we should prepare for a lot of spaghetti uh i i imagine this little system is going to turn into gear gore gear spaghetti whatever you want to call it it's going to be a lot of it because uh, we're going to need to be routing power in a lot of different ways uh, i've already got ourselves some lovely lovely gearboxes because come on you know we're going to need those uh more likely than not yeah, actually, we might even need one more gearbox than I brought down, but that's okay. We can work with that. My thought is pretty simple. Just have our encased fan hooked up and try to gear gore it, you know, as much as we can. So fan. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll need one more gearbox because what we could do is have this be a vertical gearbox. Then have shafts running there and there and a gearbox there. And that actually should cover everything. Just have to get ourselves a water wheel hooked up to the back of it. So not too bad, actually. Not too bad. It is a good thing I happen to be smart enough to bring enough resources to make ourselves a gearbox. Another vertical one, as always. Beautiful. That should get rotational power running in every direction we want. Let us have this water wheel no all right and then it's just as easy as setting up a vertical water wheel i think 
can block their helps. And then I guess this doesn't need to be like super fast. We don't need to have like ourselves a perfect water wheel here. This should, if I place a block here, this should give us plenty of speed, right? Yes. Oh, wait. Does that... Uh, that kind of... Well, how about this then? Chests go here. Funnel goes here. We're going to make sure that it's pointing... Whoops. I broke it. We're going to make sure that it's pointing into the chest. Is that enough to pick up the items? No? I don't know why I thought there was... Oh, wait. That worked. Hmm. This this doesn't seem like it works perfectly, but it actually does see so if I if I fill that in, does that encase the item enough that it works? Is this just a janky system? Stop going into my inventory. Here, we'll we'll place this with a full block. Is that working now? No. <laughs> It kind of reaches where it needs to go. I wonder if a hopper would work better. Because we actually... Believe it or not, I was smart enough to think about that. We have enough space for a hopper. So if I do this... My iron's upstairs. Yeah, okay. How about that? And I'll just dump all this stuff over here. How about that? Does that work? That seems to work. Right? Yes. Does it work consistently? Yes. Okay. Wow. That is the jankiest system that ever did do. Um, I have absolutely no idea how we're going to get it up to the surface. 